Yeah, yeah showtime, Sean. So, welcome back to Strictly Sega. This is the third episode. We're looking at box number three. C and D. But before we do that, I took a trip down to Greg's last week, down to Laserdisc Wonderland, and I wanted to share with you some tips and tricks that we found fix most laser displays that we've come across. Laser disc <laughs> reviving the dead. Here's a COD D515. Released in 1997, it's a very common build style for a double sided player. And the 515 isn't overly packed with features, so it's pretty clean inside here to show you around. It's a popular player here in Australia because it was one of the more lower priced players and it was PAL and NTSC. Now if it's a power issue, we recommend taking it to an expert. But if it's powering up normally, but the tray isn't ejecting, then it might be the drive belt. Most Pioneer Laserdisc players use a square 3.6 inch drive belt, but there's been some different ones. Some drive belts are thicker, but the most important part is the length. And also, it's good if they're square, so they grip better. On the front left is the manual eject. If the belt is broken, you can stick your finger in there and although it will take about a million turns, it will eventually either eject or load the tray, depending on which way you spin it. If you need to get the tray out, you can unclip it here on the back of the tray. Not all players have these clips, but most do. Some players require you have the face of the player off. Replacing the drive belt once you've done all that seems quite simple. It's kind of like putting the chain back on your bike, but tiny. Some other maintenance duties include taking off the bracket to clean the spindle. That little pad that holds the disc is tiny and actually gets quite dirty. Clean the grip ring in the spindle and push down the middle to make sure you get the little grip pads underneath. You can use rubbing alcohol, but make sure you use the other end of the swab to ripen the solution off. Start by cleaning the laser lens and the sensor next to it. Just give them a good clean with isopropyl alcohol on a cotton bud. Then grab a dry cotton bud and you're good to go. Other maintenance includes greasing the rails with lithium grease. It can really help with the vibrations and the player can run much more smoothly. And the other points you might use to in grease would be here. This one, just to quieten it down. Here. Here. Mm -hmm. Here. Under here. Um, I'd put some lithium grease on here. A little bit on here. Doesn't really need it. But you can put lithium grease on here. These are all moving points. On the runners. When loading the tray back, there's two clips that have to click exactly the same time. Or it means the tray isn't straight. Unclip it and try again if you haven't done it perfectly. I hope you found this helpful. And if you did, please hit subscribe because we have more of these videos planned for every second collection video. But that's it for now. A few simple tips that could save your laser displayer and get it back going again.